Welcome to Vora Motors. Today we'll be replacing the throttle on the eMove Roadrunner. For this task, you will need a rubber mallet, a 5mm hex key, a 3mm hex key, electrical tape, string or brake line, pin set for connectors, scissors, gloves, and of course, a new throttle. First, we will use our 5mm hex key to unscrew the four screws under the seat. Once unscrewed, lift the seat up and hang it off to the side. Cut the zip tie holding the wires together. Unpack the contents so you can look around easier. Find the black and white connector with red, green, black, blue, and yellow lines. Disconnect it and take the black end in hand. Take your pin tool and begin removing each metal pin from the plastic connector. Be sure to do this gently and patiently since these pins are fragile. Once you have gotten the pin loose, you should be able to pull it from the other end. Do this to each of the pins until you have them free from the connection hall. Now take your string and tape it around the exposed pins. Before we pull it through, we will remove the wire covers and take off the handlebar grip. The best way to do this is to twist it off and force the grip off. Then unwind the wire cover from the throttle all the way down to the hole where the wires enter the frame. Now pull the wire through to the front. If the wire method doesn't work for you, you can use the brake line instead. You can also use tape to tape the wires to the line and pull them to the front this way. Now that the wire is at the front, unscrew the twist throttle. Reveal the throttle screw by pulling the rubber to the side. Unscrew with the 3mm hex key. Remove the tape from the wires that you pulled through. Now remove the throttle and place it to the side. Take your new throttle now and we'll begin the process in reverse. We will start by placing the throttle on. Slide it on and then tighten it with your 3mm hex key. Take the string you wired through earlier and tape it to the new throttle pins. Pull it towards the main controller housing. Take the connection hall and your pin tool and feed the pins into the hall one at a time. If the pin is flat, use your tool to lift the metal fin. But be sure to be gentle, these are very easy to break. With the clasp facing upwards, line up with the pins with the slats in the correct order of red, green, black, blue, and yellow. Check that the pins can't be easily pulled out. Once it's all set, go ahead and connect it back to the white connector. Check that the throttle activates the motors, both rear and front. After this, go ahead and put everything back together. Use a rubber mallet to place the grip back on the handlebar. Rewire the wire covers. Start from the frame and work towards the throttle. It's okay if you have some excess as long as the scooter rotates without issue. Cozy up all of the wires in the main cavity and place the zip tie back now if you'd like, but it's not required to do so. Place the seat on top and line the screw holes. Screw in the seat until it's firm. 
And with that, you're all set. Thank you for watching, and let us know if you have any comments or suggestions for future videos in the comments section below.